Five Things to Get Excited About, It, Chapter 2. In 2017, the film adaptation of Stephen King's novel It made history as the highest grossing horror film of all time with a record-breaking $700.4 million box office take worldwide. With its unprecedented success, a second part will terrorize the screens on September 6, 2019. And here are five things to get excited about It, Chapter 2. Number 5. The Return of Pennywise the Clown the murderous clown has awakened and will return to Derry, Maine after 27 years. Pennywise, the dancing clown, or simply known as It, is the title character in King's novel and its film version, who is an ancient cosmic evil that preys upon the children of Derry. Its evil powers include the ability to shapeshift, manipulate, and go incognito. On the widescreen, Pennywise is given life by Swedish actor Bill Skarsgård who describes it as such an extreme character, inhumane, and even beyond a sociopath, because he's not even human or a clown. Well, float down here. The Guardian has ranked Pennywise as one of the scariest clowns in film or pop culture. In the 2019 sequel, the trans-dimensional evil crosses paths once again with a group of seven misfits, who are now adults. Expect their second encounter to be bloodier that will leave a lasting chilling effect on the viewers. <laughs> Number 4. The Ritual of Chud The team behind IT Chapter 1 knows very well that the movie is one tough act to follow. However, they definitely have left some aces up their sleeves that viewers will eagerly look forward to in the 2019 sequel. One of these is a pivotal part not included in the 2017 blockbuster, but will be one of the highlights in IT Chapter 2 according to its screenwriter Gary Doberman. It's a strange and mind-boggling scene called the Ritual of Chud, an element in the narrative described vividly in the novel. As the now adult Losers Club gang try to beat Pennywise, they need to perform the ritual, which can get metaphysical. Bizarre as it might seem, the ritual requires one member to engage, not in a fist fight, but in a tongue fight by interlocking tongues with it. They both bite off each other's tongues while telling jokes, and the first one to let out a guffaw is banished into the netherworld. How this element is translated into the film is a highlight viewers are waiting with bated breath. Number 3. Additional Characters in the Story As IT Chapter 2 unfolds 12 years after the 1989 setting of the original movie, there must be something and someone new in the sequel. So yes. Part of the sequel's freshness factor is expanding supporting roles and introducing new characters. The neighborhood bully Henry Bowers has been retained in the sequel as an adult to be portrayed by Canadian actor Teach Grant, while homophobic bully named John Webby Garton is an additional character. One of the Losers Club members, Bill Denbro, has a plus one in the sequel as his successful actress wife Audra Phillips is introduced in the movie played by Teeth lead star Jess Wakesler. The lone girl in the group, Beverly Marsh, is now married to her abusive husband, Tom Rogan, as portrayed by the Queen of the South cast member, Will Beinbrick. As to how they got intertwined with the protagonists and Pennywise is an added come on not to miss in the sequel. Number 2. Story After 27 Years If you think nothing could creep out viewers more than the first chapter, director Annie Muschietti has this to say, the sequel will be scarier and more intense adding that wearing adult diapers to the theater is recommended. So what can horror junkies look forward to in IT Chapter 2? In the first movie, the Losers Club kids managed to beat out Pennywise, but there was no guarantee the devilish clown won't return, so the seven misfits vowed to return to Derry if IT resurfaces, and they'll finally destroy it. And Pennywise indeed returns, and still victimizes more children 27 summers later. It took one devastating call from Mike for the rest of the gang, now adults and leading their own lives, to go back to Derry and fulfill their promise. But it will be beyond their expectations to encounter it again, this time returning stronger than ever, and is awaiting their arrival, ready to exact its wrathful vengeance upon them. Oh, damn exciting. <laughs> Number one, actors playing the grown-up kids. What will the seven misfits comprising the Losers Club formed in 1989 look like in the sequel's 2016 setting? Casting the grown-up characters is highly anticipated, and IT fans approve the final choices. Leading the adult cast is Glass star James McAvoy as Bill Denbro, the club's unofficial leader and the movie's main protagonist. 
As an adult, Phil becomes a successful writer married to an actress. Oscar nominee Jessica Chastain portrays the adult Beverly Marsh, who's now a fashion designer, but a battered wife. The intelligent bookworm Ben Hanscom, whose obesity as a kid made him a target of bullies, has now lost weight and is an internationally renowned architect. New Zealander Jay Ryan portrays the adult Ben, while Bill Hader, the creator and star of HBO's Barry, provides the comic relief as the grown-up Richie Tozier. The sickly Eddie Krasback becomes a businessman in adulthood, which James Ranzone, who starred in the movie series Sinister, breathes life to on screen. Andy Bean plays the adult Stanley Uri, the Jewish club member, while Old Spice endorser Isaiah Mustafa becomes the adult Michael Hanlon, the only African-American member of the club who stayed behind in Derry and became the town librarian. Fans of the younger set of actors won't be disappointed, as they will reprise their roles as the loser club kids in flashback scenes. Such a big cast for a much-awaited giant horror movie event of the year! If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.